everybody! Alright, this is my very first YouTube video and I am going to do my basic makeup routine for days when I don't really give a fuck. I an exaggeration, right? Because if days I don't give a fuck, I just don't wear any makeup, right? Days I don't give a fuck, I don't get out of bed. And you know, because I'm a product of the patriarchy, I fall for that stuff sometimes. You know, it's fun. Drawing on your face. It's therapeutic. So let me show you how I do it. My foundation I use is the Bare Skin Foundation by Bare Minerals. Orange cream blush. It's just called orange. <laughs> I love that too though, because it's not like those fancy like Bermuda Sunset Orange uh, by NYX. Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Powder. Uh, it's like $2, which I love. It works great. Um, it's got two colors light and dark. Then this is the one I use, the dark brown. Love it. Their Real Push-Up Liner. I'm using it because I own it and it's dark and it was really expensive. Um, it was a shit ton of money. So <laughs> I'm gonna use it uh, for a while now. I have a whole makeup drawer, you know, full of fill. It comes with liner and mascara. Those are the two things that I keep thinking there's gonna be that magical product that's just gonna be like, oh, you know, and my eyes will be sparkly and I'll have like those huge like doll lashes and people will just be amazed by me all the time. Bronzer, Bare Minerals Warmth. I love this. I honestly love this. I have multiple jars because I'm terrified one day I'm going to run out. Mascara. I use two. All right, let's get started. Foundation. So I'm just putting couple drops in this brush. There's like a special brush they sell with this foundation. Nah, it's a waste of money. I got this for like, I don't know, $6. It's uh, Eco Tools. Flat brush works great. I'm just gonna rub it in. And you, so you could see if I actually gave a fuck today, I would be doing something about my under eye circles. I'd be doing something about my little acne scar on my chin, but I'm not because I don't. I've got shit to do. I got kids. I got a job. I got hobbies. As you guys can tell, I'm not um, using any care. I know they talk about delicate eye area, whatever. I don't care. Looks like a face. Looks like skin. <laughs> you have to be careful. This is so strong. Like, it's so pigmented. I love it. So you can see it's orange as fuck. I don't know, that seems like a general cheek place. It doesn't matter. It's just general pinkiness. I'll put a little bit here. You know, so I look maybe sunburned or drunk. I don't know. Bruh. Just genuinely swipe at my face. So I swipe here. I swipe here because I'm not going to wear any um, eyeshadow today. And swipe underneath. There. See? It kind of puts some of the color that like your foundation takes away, right? You know, they're always like, why do girls pluck their eyebrows out and then draw them back in? I feel that way about foundation sometimes. Like, why do you remove all of the natural color from your face um, and make it one color and then put all the color back in? We are a tool of the man. I'll do my brows. The people who do their brows after, I mean, before they do the rest of their face, I don't get it because then you're like avoiding this whole area while you're doing your foundation and stuff. I don't know, somebody explained to me, it seems like a shit ton more work. Cause I'm just, you know, smushing things around everywhere and I don't wanna have to go back and fix my brows again. Like, I don't get it. But all I do, you saw I brush my brows down. This is just so I can get to like the skin underneath. I just took a tiny bit of powder on this. And then, just going over the basic shape of my brows and then I'm just basically smudging it in. My cool eyebrow trick is that if you don't look like you're trying to be super accurate with it, then it looks a lot more natural and when you fuck up, which I mean we do, it, it doesn't look like a fuck up. See, like I totally fucked that spot up right there and I'm just going to keep smudging it in. Next brow. And then I just check and make sure that like they're generally the same pigment. 
and that like, you know, they're kind of equal here and that's it. And then I brush my brows in place. And when you brush your brows up, you're like, oh, hey, look, looks pretty fucking normal. They're done. I don't know. They look like eyebrows. Eyeliner. And I have to get a mirror out for this, you guys, because I'm not a superhero. I usually draw my outer corner first. And I just draw a basic cat wing. Is that what it's called? Cat eye. Okay. Done. I always fuck up this eye too, and then I end up, you know, like one time when I was younger, my mom tried to cut my hair, and she totally fucked up, like, one part that should keep going, and next thing you know, I was bald. I do the same thing with my eyes a lot, where like, you know, I do one nice eye, but then this eye's a little off, and this eye's off, and next thing you know, I've got this really, like, clownish area of black all the way up here, but at least it matches, you know, you gotta work it, right? All right, ta-da, mascara. You guys like my chin? It's nice, isn't it? Looks like lashes, all right. For lips, just do whatever. Um, I usually just do a lip gloss most days or I'll pick a really bright lip color. So this is uh, Honey Sticks from the Kardashian collection and I wanted to be all like, boo Kim Kardashian, whatever. Uh, but these taste like honey, so win. And here you go, my finished face. And we are done. This is my finished face. Looks like a face. Good face. Usually this takes me about eight minutes. Uh, I don't know how many times I've looked like utter shit and then ran into like someone from high school who I hated. And you really have to look good for that. But for reals, you guys. You're beautiful. Your face is gorgeous. You don't have to do any of this.